So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Premiere Pro. A lot of people ask me questions about setting up a project and also rendering. So let's start off with Premiere Pro and just talk about the actual project itself. So over here we can select new project and this is where we name our project. I'll call this tutorial and I have a desktop folder Adobe Easy. So that's where it's going to go. We're going to select OK. Now this is important because these sequence presets are going to allow me to set up a project to match the way I record the video. And this is important because when I'm recording, say, in 60 frames per second, that sequence setting needs to be 60 frames per second. Now, in the new Adobe Premiere Pro, you can match the sequence settings by just bringing in your video, and Premiere Pro will tell you if the sequence settings in the video are not matched, and you can select OK to change the settings. But if you don't want to go through that, and you just want to really know how to set up your project, this is the way to go about doing it. Now I have a DSLR camera, so I would select Digital SLR, and then if I wanted to record in 720p or even 1080p on my camera, I would select one of these settings here, either 1080p or 720. Now for YouTube, I select 720 because I don't have a need for 1080p. So I'll select 720 and the 60 frames per second, and then select OK. So now that I have my sequence setting, I have a setting of 1280 by 720. That's what's going to be the dimensions of the project. Now that I have this intro, I'm ready to actually export this. So I can go to File Export, and then I'm going to select Media. So I'm going to select QuickTime, and this is the sequence setting I use to export my movies. It's a .move. This is a file that I want to upload to YouTube. And I like the settings myself. It just works out best for me. You can go with other formats for YouTube if you want. You could try MPEG-2. It's really up to you, but I like to use QuickTime. And then over here in the preset, I'm going to select 720p. So now remember, the reason why I'm doing this is because my sequence settings were at 720p. So that's what I want to export at. And once the project is ready, I'll select Export, and then your file will save. Also over here you can select the location of the file. So that's pretty much it. That's how you set up a sequence and then export in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. This was really for the beginners out there. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.